or welcome. Today it's time to do a foundation review and you already know which one it is. It's the Tarte Found Sealer. This is not a new one but I haven't tried it before so I decided to give it a go now. Probably this isn't the best time ever because there's so many new foundations in the market as well but I, I want to try this today. Um, this is kind of a mixed foundation with skincare. There is hyaluronic acid and this babasu um, in ingredient. I don't know more about it. Um, it is said to be kind of nourishing and hydrating to your skin, which when we are leaning towards winter is something I always am looking for because of my dry skin and the cold, harsh weather here in Finland. Um, there is 30 shades, so quite good, but it seems to lean to the lighter end of the spectra, so um, again, not the greatest one. I do like this packaging. I'm sure you're already seen that you kind of twist it up and then there is this pump, which is very handy when traveling. Uh, it is plastic, so it's not heavy and you can see this rises when you use it so you can see when it's finished. So I really like this packaging. I did purchase a shade 16N and I swatched it and it's just a bit dark to me, but we'll see on my face how it looks. I'm a bit scared now because I did swatch it to my hand and I can see that there is not much, but there is some uh, kind of shimmery particles in it. I don't remember anyone else has mentioned it, so it's it's interesting to see, but there definitely is some a small amount of particles, so we'll see if that appears on my face as well. As usual, I'm going to prime my face with this Guerlain Meteorit Primer. This is the primer I always use with my foundation reviews, so I can see how it uh, applies and behaves on my skin. I do use pore filling primer also on my nose usually, but not when I'm doing these foundation reviews, just to see how it settles to large pores. And I do wear my eyeglasses, so we will see how badly it, um, how bad it will look at the end of the day. It always looks bad when you're wearing glasses. Uh, the formula is not very liquidy. It stays where it is um, and I'm going to use my Smashbox brush as usual. Here we go. It does feel a bit kind of thick. Um, it doesn't apply really smoothly. It's not bad. It's just, there's a, just a tiny bit of kind of that drag on, on the foundation. Uh, one thing they mentioned that you can really, um, dip, depending on how you apply it, uh, it can be very light coverage. So if you apply it with your fingers, it's light. And if you apply it with a uh, sponge, it's light to medium and with brush, it's medium. So. This is my uh, typical way to apply a foundation, so um, that's why. Alright, the foundation is now on everywhere except my eye area. Uh, I really, really like how it looks on my skin. It is more glowy actually than I expected, but it seems that this side I applied first is a tiny bit less glowy than this side, so it might be it settles down to kind of, um, it's not satiny, it's more glowy than satiny finish, but it is, um, it's not, I wouldn't say glowy, glowy foundation, for example, like uh, the Anastasia new one is. So it is a bit different, but it does look beautiful. And now that it's full on my face, uh, the shade looks quite good. And about these particles, I can't see any uh, particles on my skin. So I don't know what that was about. It might be that it kind of settles to my skin. Uh, so uh, like some products just do highlighters or something that you can see this what the particles in your hand, but not when you apply it to your face. 
I'll do rest of my makeup now and then I'll get back if there is any um, something I notice when I'm doing my makeup. It's now 8 o'clock in the morning so that's the check-in time and I will do check-ins during the day and try to have this on at least 8 hours probably around 10 hours so we can see how it uh, wears during the day but I'll get back after I finish my makeup. The rest of my makeup is now on. I did use the Tarte Greaseless Concealer, which I really like, even though it does grease quite a lot if you have fine lines. And on my eyes I use the Tarte Toasted Palette. Um, this is not something I use much, but to this video it's suited and I, I kind of like this look. Um, but the, the foundation, uh, I did apply a liquid blush on top, so uh, the glow comes mainly from it. But there is glow. I did powder just the, uh, the kind of crease of my nose and my eyelids. I haven't powdered anywhere else. So you can see that there is a little bit of glow, but it is this kind of beautiful, fresh um, kind of luminosity. Uh, in it definitely not a greasy glow or some, anything like that. Uh, one thing I noticed with this a definite big plus is that uh, this kind of minimizes my pores. Uh, on my nose, on my forehead where I have very visible pores, pores and I didn't use any pore filling primer, uh, my pores look really good. They do look uh, less visible and my skin looks kind of smoother. Um, on my cheeks where I don't have much pores, uh, it kind of looks different. It looks more luminous in these areas. Maybe because my skin is normally so dry that I cannot see any luminosity on my cheeks. So now it does look different. But everything looks good. Uh, I'll check in during the day to see how it wears. Uh, I'm really excited if this lasts well on my skin. This is definitely one of my favorites, at least for now, but we'll see during the day. So I'll get back to you. It is now quarter past 12, so the foundation has been on for a bit over four hours. And I just checked in from my mirror that um, things are looking really good. Even the uh, glasses, pads, uh, the damage is minimal, at, at least currently. Uh, so um, I'm, I'm really excited about this foundation. Uh, the fact that I didn't use any pore filling primer and my nose pores still look really really good the foundation hasn't sinked on my pores and quite often it happens that the um the foundation kind of melts off from my pores or gets more thin so the redness and peaks through and the pores look quite uh, not good but uh, at least at this point four hours uh, none of that has happened Another thing, I have got a few questions about where is the tail? Well, she is next here. Let me show you. She likes to sleep on my... There she is. Say hi. Whoops. She loves this uh, window bed. I purchased for her when we moved here and this is just she loves the sun so that's her place yes but here we are uh, i will check in later again at the end of the day how it looks but so far everything is looking good it is now half past five so this foundation has been on for eight and a half hours, nine and a half hours. And um, well, well, we see the worst situation of today, the eyeglasses, but other than that, um, it's still looking really, really good. I am looking a bit more glowy than I did 
earlier. So if you have oily skin or are leaning to oily side, um, you might want to test this before purchasing. But that said, again, I didn't use any powder, so... Um, my forehead, there is a little bit of this going on, but that is... Uh, I need to blame my cat. She wanted to lick my forehead and I unfortunately have to say this foundation is not cat-proofed. And so, um, and she is here. Um, so the foundation, I really, really love how it wore on my skin. And what usually happens with almost every foundation is that my um, chin, the foundations tend to break. Uh, kind of on my chin because I have some texture, but this um, it's looking still very very good. Oh, what do you say? Yes, um, I I am very very surprised with this um, foundation. Um, I would have never thought that it's it's this um, good. <laughs> she is sitting on my lap and I don't know what to say anymore. This is cat situation. <clears throat> but here we are. Um, really love this foundation. The shade is actually really good. No shimmering particles, which I was afraid in the beginning. And um, last beautiful on my skin. Next time a little bit space, probably powder or some mattifying primer, for example, and um, all these problems, tiny problems, are fixed. So, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this review and and if you did, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't know. And I hope you have a great day and see you next time. Bye-bye.